methemoglobinemia is a disorder characterized by elevated levels of methemoglobin in the blood which leads to tissue hypoxia talking about the pathophysiology of methemoglobinemia this disease occurs when red blood cells contain methemoglobin at levels higher than 1% methemoglobin results from the presence of iron in the oxidized ferric form instead of the usual reduced ferrous form this results in a decreased availability of oxygen to the tissues this condition can be congenital or acquired symptoms are proportional to the methemoglobin level at levels up to 20% changes can occur in the color of blood and skin as levels rise above 20% neurologic and cardiac symptoms arise as a consequence of hypoxia levels higher than 70% are usually fatal two main types of methemoglobinemia are congenital methemoglobinemia and acquired methemoglobinemia in congenital methemoglobinemia there is a problem with the synthesis of cytochrome b5 reductase enzyme acquired methemoglobinemia is much more common than the congenital form which is caused by exposure to certain substances for example local anesthetics like benzocaine dapsin which is used for the treatment of leprosy and nitrates or nitrites these substances act as oxidants and therefore increase the production of the oxidized form of hemoglobin or methemoglobin symptoms of methemoglobinemia include cyanosis in the skin and oral mucosa headache mental status alterations like confusion or syncope seizures and even coma cardiovascular symptoms include dyspnea heart palpitations chest pain cardiac arrhythmias and myocardial infarction diagnosis of methemoglobinemia is characterized by cyanosis a fresh blood sample will show a characteristic unhealthy bluish chocolate brown color instead of the normal healthy red The most accurate test to confirm the diagnosis is a multiple wavelength cooximeter which is a blood gas analyzer that measures methemoglobin as a percentage of the total hemoglobin concentration in the blood sample. Management and treatment of methemoglobinemia depends on its type. Management of congenital methemoglobinemia is focused on avoiding agents that can further induce the production of methemoglobin. Acquired methemoglobinemia is considered a medical emergency and the mainstay of treatment is supplemental oxygen along with intravenous methylene blue. Methylene blue is a dye that reduces the iron in methemoglobin back to its ferrous state so it converts methemoglobin to normal hemoglobin. That was all about methemoglobinemia. I hope you find this video informative. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and keep watching for more informative stuff. Also, the links to our various social media platforms have been given below in the description. Go and follow us there as well and if you have any queries you can write them down in the comment section below. Thank you.